Hello, this is Ruth Hamilton and welcome. Thanks very much for joining me. This is a very short video showing you how I have coloured in one of the digi images. This is the Hollyhock digi image from my website, Ruth Hamilton Design, and you'll find the link to the website down below. And I'd really love you to go over there and have a little look. And also, uh, I'd love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see uh, more of these videos as they come along. So, I have been drawing all these images. There's quite a lot of them over there now. Um, quite a few of them are floral because I do actually just love flowers and I love dogs as well. So, that's mainly what you'll see over there. But I will be adding other things as well. I've used the Tonic Studios Nuvo alcohol markers for these. And as you can see, there's lots of different colours. You don't have to stick to the actual colours of hollyhocks because part of the fun of just having these images is that you can resize them, make them whatever size you want and just make them whatever colour you want and just enjoy the process. But if you do need a few tips, watch along with the video and you'll see how I've coloured and how I've shaded in these ones. You can see on this small card here, I have actually used the um, Tiger Lily and Plum Tomato along with the Bamboo Leaf for this one. So that's given the beautiful red and I've used some dyes along with that one. It's quite a small card. I have used the Lemon Drops and uh, Bright Sunflower on this one along with Pea Pod for the leaves and just made a tiny little tag with that one. And I just wanted to show that you could use the image in a very large format or just use it small on a tag. And then on this one I've used two images together and as you can see probably from a lot of my cards I love to fussy cut, so I love to print them out to whatever size I want, then I colour them in and then I cut with just a small outline around them just with a tiny pair of scissors and then glue them onto the card front and in this instance I have cut out two and glued one just slightly overlapping the other one and on that one I've used these alcohol markers as well so I've used the these two pens for the front one here and that is Violet Breeze and Spring Lilac and then on this one I've used a combination of uh, Pink Lady and Dragon Fruit along with Vine Leaf then for the, the green leaves and just a, a few. I've got these in lots of different colours but I tend to always go for Prickly Pear because I just love the way they set the finishing touch on a card. And then in the video I have printed out this large one and then I have used the lovely colours here so I've got Pink Grapefruit for the background, Pink Lady for some um, shading on top of it and then I have used pea pod for the leaves and I've just used the same one to do the darker shading because with alcohol markers you can just layer it up so I've used the same one for all the different shading on here and I've used a little bit of lemon drops and bright sunflower in the centre here and some crystal drops just to finish it off and of course then some of these little sequins on, on top of that. So. Without further ado, I'll just um, speed this up and show you the process of colouring this one in and I hope you enjoy it and I'd love to see you back again soon. So thanks very much for watching. 